Hi, this is Splash from 1984, and it was directed by Ron Howard. The composer was Lee Holdridge. The cast is Tom Hanks, Daryl Hannah, John Candy, and Eugene Levy. The film was about um, when a young boy is saved from a mermaid, and he falls in love with her 20 years later when she t returns to seek him out. Now, I always thought this came out after Little Mermaid from 1989, the original Little Mermaid. But this, but the original Little Mermaid took a lot of things from this film, which is really interesting. It could have been shorter and better a little bit. It didn't need a TV sequel, and it does not need to be remade with Channing Tatum. I mean, anybody, for that matter, just does not need to be remade. The film popularized, popularized the name Madison. The mermaid tail weighed 35 pounds. Okay, so from here there are spoilers. I want to see more of Cornbluth following Madison. And I want to see more mermaids. And like, is she the only mermaid around? I want to see more of the experiments they did on her because... They, they capture her, they put her in a tank, and they don't seem to do anything with her. I wanted to see more of um, Cornblue's mentor, who tried to discourage him from looking for a mermaid. And this is like the biggest thing, biggest plot hole of the whole entire film. How did they get the fountain into the apartment? I mean... He didn't like the entire fountain. Um, Alan liked the mermaid part of the fountain. So why couldn't you just get the mermaid topper off the fountain? So at the beginning, I'll, it says, um, from what I've always heard, he falls into the wire. But Alan jumps into the wire at the beginning. And he doesn't fall in, and the big point of the part of the movie is he can't swim, and yet he jumps in. I mean, I know it's a movie from the 80s, they probably couldn't figure out a better way to show this, but I mean, still, there has to be a better way. And so Madison goes on a shopping spree after find, trying to find Alan, and she finds his wallet in the water. But how is she able to buy so many things... With his wet wallet. And I like how whenever Madison is secretive with Alan about things of her life, he gets frustrated with her. It's funny, um, Daryl Hannah is a vegetarian and there was a lobster in the movie. And so she had a hard time eating that. And they, so the production crew filled it with mashed potatoes. Which I'm kind of confused about. Do mermaids eat fish? And lobsters and for I don't there was this this was like another really confusing thing about the film they go to the president's dinner and Alan is a produce um, he sells produce so and there he's not like on the president's list or anything and there's nothing big about his company so why is he at the president's dinner I didn't really understand that part. And to me, once Cornbluth realizes that he's done this, something wrong by capturing Mad Madison, he should have gone to see Alan. Instead, he goes to the dentist first. And, which is really weird because Alan, uh, it works out in the end because Alan goes to him to the dentist's office. But I mean, I just, to me, he should have gone to see Alan first and not the dentist. I wanted to see Alan turn into a mermaid. I mean, what was the ending? I mean, they just swim off together after they both jump into the water. But, so does Alan turn into a mermaid, or is he just human forever? I mean, I think the TV sequel was them living on some island, and he's not a mermaid. And she's possibly going back and forth between mermaid form and human form. I don't know. I've just never seen it. Don't, don't think I want to see it. Tom Hanks isn't in it, so it was it was good. Could have been better and shorter.